Listen, I mentioned that if I saw a good statement from someone I don't agree with, that I would call it out. And this statement right here is something that I want to highlight. And there's one section in the op-ed that I don't fully agree with, and you can read the caption for more on that. I have gotten so many comments like these, and I want to be very clear on why we vaccinated individuals care when others are not vaccinated against something like measles. I'm vaccinated, so I'm not worried about getting it and I can go about my day. But when I hear about outbreaks, I don't think about myself. I think about the babies who aren't old enough for vaccines yet. I think about the cancer patients whose immune systems aren't strong enough to handle vaccines. I think about the people with chronic illnesses who don't have the luxury of choice. And that's why vaccination is both a personal decision, but also a community responsibility. I respect that everyone wants to make the best choices for their family, but some health decisions only affect you while others impact everyone around you. If you decide to skip fluoride in your water or fluoride toothpaste, that's a personal decision. It won't change the health of my teeth. Vaccination is unique because unlike fluoride or other choices you may make for your own body, one person's decision affects an entire community. Think of vaccination like a firewall. When enough people are immune, the fire virus can't spread from person to person. But if there are gaps, in the firewall, the fire jumps from person to person, creating an outbreak. This matters even if you're vaccinated because more measles cases don't just affect unvaccinated individuals. Outbreaks overwhelm hospitals and put vulnerable people at risk. Measles can lead to pneumonia, brain swelling, which is encephalitis, and long-term complications that can be significantly reduced or prevented with vaccination. The MMR vaccine is 97% effective after two doses, which is incredible, but no vaccine is 100%. And the more vaccinated in a community, the less the risk of breakthrough infections for fully vaccinated individuals or partially vaccinated individuals like toddlers. And this is who I think about most when I hear about outbreaks. The babies under 12 months who are too young for routine MMR, cancer patients, and immunocompromised individuals whose bodies can't handle live vaccines like MMR. People with medical conditions, some illnesses prevent safe vaccination. For them, herd immunity isn't a concept, it's their only defense. And to be frank, I care about the unvaccinated lives too. Just because they didn't choose to get a vaccine that I support, I don't want them sick. I don't want them hospitalized. I don't want them dying. Just like I wouldn't want the same for their vaccinated counterparts, regardless of the illness. Measles spreads faster than almost any other virus. One person with measles can infect up to 12 to 18 others and compare that to flu, which has a reproduction number ranging from one to three people. We need at least 95% of the population vaccinated to stop outbreaks, to build that firewall. So yes, Vaccination is a personal choice, but it's also a community effort. The more of us who choose to vaccinate, the more we protect those who can't. That's what herd immunity is all about. Let's keep the firewall strong together.